what's up everybody and welcome back to my channel we're coming back to you with another episode of cookie with them bagsby's tonight we are going to be making spaghetti something that's quick and simple but very filling and we also have garlic bread so these are the ingredients that i like to use when making spaghetti i like the traditional prego and i like to use the barilla thin spaghetti um, for me, they taste better and they cook faster. And I will be seasoning up my ground beef, which is 93% extra lean ground beef. <clears throat> and I will also be adding in some Hillshire Farm beef smoked sausage. And the seasonings that I will be using is the garlic salt and the Lari's seasoning salt and also some black pepper. The bread that we will be eating is uh, just some baked garlic bread uh, from the bakery at our local grocery store. And I've already got my water started for the spaghetti. Um, and here I just put a dash of salt and also a cap full of vegetable oil. So those are all of my ingredients. And I will be back with you guys when I start to uh, ground the meat. So I am back and I have already seasoned up one side of my ground beef with season, seasoning salt and black pepper. We're going to go ahead and add that into the pan. And then what I'm going to do is season the other side with garlic salt and pepper. And now we're just going to go ahead and start to break that up. And I'm going to turn my eye down a little bit. I don't have my sidekick with me. She's upstairs, so she was supposed to be down here helping me, but I don't know what happened with that. So my water is boiling. And so I'm gonna go ahead and add in my noodles. And then I'm going to let them cook until they are al dente. And according to the packaging, they should be al dente within five to six minutes, but I still like to test them. And so I'm going to go ahead and get those that pasta in and then finish browning this beef. And then I have my sausages cut up right here and ready to go in as soon as the ground beef is done. So we'll be back with you at the next step. So now I have my pasta in and it's boiling away. My ground beef has ground up really good. So now I am going to go ahead and add in the sausages. And mix that up real good. And then let them cook and do their thing. And you always wanna keep your pasta moving. So that they don't stick. And again, I have no idea where my sidekick is. I ain't have time to wait on her or whatever she got going on. So I'm sure she'll come down. Oh, sorry. Darn it. I'm sure that she'll... Um, um, and on the last video, I was talking about her having her finger all in the camera. And I just did the same thing. Oh, my sidekick has made it. What's up, sidekick? Hello. My feet. It's hot. So she's finally made it. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and keep getting these uh, sausages cooked down. And... 
once my pasta is ready, we will come back and we'll put everything all together. I wish I had smell of vision It smells so good in here right now. And we'll be back. So now we've drained everything and now we are going to start adding in our meat combo and with the noodles. And as you hear, it's already sizzling. And then we're going to go ahead and start adding in our spaghetti sauce. I like to try and get it at the bottom. And then start working it through. I know some people, they eat their spaghetti by putting the pasta um, on the table or on the table <laughs> putting leaving their pasta oh yeah you can put it in a bowl on the table or whatever and some people just put their sauce and their meat together and just pour it over the pasta at the table but this is how I grew up eating spaghetti And then we are just going to mix it all together. Want to make sure all of those noodles are coated with the sauce and the meat. And then what I like to do is I like to give it a taste. Once I have all the sauce in and all of the meat and everything mixed in, and then if it needs any more seasoning, then I like to do that at the end. So I'm just going to go ahead and get all of this mixed up and we'll be back. So this is the finished product of my spaghetti. And we have the garlic bread in the oven getting nice and toasty. Dishes are done. Clean as you go makes it a whole lot easier when you're done eating because a lot of times you get full and you don't feel like cleaning up so hey if you cook and clean all at the same time then you ain't got to worry about that right so that was our cooking show cooking with them bag fees thank you guys for your support your love um, thank you for your thumbs ups, your comments, and I ask that you will continue to share my videos, continue to subscribe, and your next video is going to be done by this guy over here. He will be doing the next video. Say hi, Corey. He's foolish. But anyways, everyone, thank you for watching. And again, we'll see you on the next cooking episode with Corey Bagsby, not Nakia and Pebbles. We're going to be retired until after he does his video. So give it a couple weeks and we'll have another cooking show for you. Everybody have a blessed night and a blessed rest of the week. Bye.